Hello. Um, in many households in America, families tend to have a pet dog. And it is often debated over which kind of dog breed is the best or which one you should get. But there is one dog breed that has received a very negative reputation over the years, and that is the Pitbull Terrier. My claim is that the Pitbull Terrier is commonly misunderstood to being vicious in nature. What I mean by vicious in nature is that no matter what the circumstances, a Pitbull Terrier will always act aggressively towards humans and other animals. To start us off, I'd like to offer the testimony of Robin Rook, who is the founder of the Measles Animal Heaven for Pitbull Rescue, and has been operating it for the past 10 years. In her testimony, she's acknowledging the myth that pit bulls are vicious in nature. The myth that pit bulls are inherently vicious is a stereotype that is based towards condemning an entire breed and for the actions of a few bad people. The truth is each dog should be evaluated by its own merits and not by its breed. The truth is that there are no bad dogs, only bad people. What she is implying is that most pit bulls tend to be violent is because they come from abusive and cruel owners. To further support this, I'd like to provide a brief history of the pit bull breed. In the past, the pit bull breed was originally like, bred for being a farm hand. Like, it would help with herding cattle and dealing with the other livestock and keeping them in check. They're naturally strong as a breed, very muscular, and because of this, many people saw them and sought to exploit their strength in underground dog fighting arenas for sport. Now, the image of pit bulls as dangerous or violent towards people by nature is a tragic misconception that, that has been cultivated over decades through abuse that the breed has suffered in the fighting rings run by humans. Now, I'd like to provide an example story. But just because pit bulls have long, had a long history of violence doesn't mean that they're violent animals. They're, in fact, mostly victims. And most of them are their violent nature is just them trying to defend themselves from further abuse. I'd like to provide an example of a dog named General. General was a dog that was found in an underground fighting pit, and when animal control came in to shut it down, they saw this dog who is a large, 65-pound white pit bull who was covered in scars and bruises and always had this mean scowl on its face and seemed to be violent in nature. However, when they took him to an animal shelter, they realized that this dog wasn't aggressive in any way, but was in fact just a scared and frightened creature and didn't want to be hurt anymore. Over time, General was introduced to other humans and then eventually other dogs, and, over, and soon enough, he started to come out into his comfort zone and became more open to other creatures. So he's, his violent tendencies immediately dissipated, and then he was soon adopted by a marine who named him General, and then took him home to his four-year-old daughter, where he now lives in a happy, loving environment. <clears throat> this story came from lovable.com, which is just one example of hundreds that you could see of just pit bulls that were rescued from abusive environments and then adopted into loving homes. <clears throat> in conclusion, pit bulls often misunderstood to be dangerous and feared, but they are, in fact, safe dogs that own as pets. <clears throat> as long as they are in a loving and caring environment, there is no reason to ever think that they will ever be vicious towards humans or other animals.